today we're going to make some udon noodle soup. We're going to start with cured pork belly. Put it on a smoker that looks like this. Use pecan wood. Go for about two hours. Take some fresh corn, cut it off the cob, and right now it's the cob I'm looking for because... We're going to put this on the smoker. You can tell by the way I bite my lip here, not much excites me more than putting corn on a smoker. And hold on to those kernels, we'll use them for later. <laughs> oh boy, look at that, look at that color right there, oh my god. <clears throat> Moving on. Really all I was looking to do is get some, some smoke on it and use that as a flavoring agent. And me being the novice that I am, I walked away from the camera to wash my hands trying to explain something, but what I'm saying is we are gonna use this pork belly as a flavoring agent and then slice it down after it's been cooked for our protein. I'm also gonna add a chicken hindquarter to this. My wife doesn't like pork belly so much, the fattiness she doesn't care for, but it really is needed to really flavor this stock. However, the chicken is gonna be her protein along with my kids because they're not gonna eat pork belly. <sighs> you know, I'm just wondering, like, where did I go wrong? They don't eat pork belly, I don't know, all right, all right. He's so fast, he makes fast people look not fast. We're cutting the green part up for the toppings, the white part we'll use in the stock. Add your green onions to the pot and don't touch them, let them, let them char. So a couple people have inquired about my knife. This is made from Garrett from Steel Pig Forge. So reach out to him if you ever have any knife needs. He does awesome work. We got some julienne carrots. Then we're gonna do some minced ginger. Sliced jalapenos for that medium heat. If you want something hotter, you can always go hotter. And lastly, some cabbage, which we're gonna toss with a little bit of lime juice and some sesame oil. Then toss the coat. So now that we have all of our toppings, let's get back to our broth. We're now going to add our corn cob, as well as all of our vegetable scraps from the toppings that we cut up. There's one vegetable in here that I did not cut up. If you can tell me what it is, I'll be impressed. Comment down below. Alright, so some crushed red pepper. This is just going to add underlying heat. Five spice. Lastly is MSG. Yes, MSG. It's not going to give you a headache. You have a better chance of naming the seven shades of yellow of Jupiter's scrotum than you do of getting a headache from MSG. Just, just try it. Just use it. Amplify it by quite a bit. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna this is cooked for a minute. We're going to add some rice wine vinegar to deglaze the bottom of this pot just a bit. So this is where we're going to start layering in flavors. This is deglazing the bottom of the pot, reducing. You can see how light in color that liquid was versus how dark it is as it's now in the pot. I'm going to add some sesame oil and then some water. This ended up being about six cups, which was enough to cover the pork belly and allow for some reduction in liquid. And then we're going to add oyster sauce just a little bit. Bloop, 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 bloop. And lastly, we're going to add soy sauce. If you've noticed, we haven't added any salt. That's because of the pork belly, the soy sauce, the oyster sauce. All of that is adding salt. So from here, we bring up to a simmer, put a lid on it, and let it go for about three hours. In three hours, you can make the udon noodle recipe. You can watch the udon noodle recipe that's attached to this video and subscribe to this channel. All right, pork belly is nice and tender. We're going to skim this stock, and then we are going to cook some eggs soft boiled. Boil water. Add eggs, cook for about seven minutes, and then shock in water. All right, strain the stock out and keep this hot. If you want to put this back in a pot and keep it as simmer, do that. I recommend it. And now let's plate this bee. So we're going to start with some homemade udon noodles. If you don't have the time to make udon, you can find them, buy them in the store and use them. We're going to ladle over our broth. And then these toppings is really whatever you want to use. This is all about you and how you like your food. I'm doing a little bit of everything. And if you doubt my seven minute time frame on a soft boiled egg, take a look at this. Uh, perfect. It's good. It's good. Yeah. 
you want that. The thing I love about this is every bite is gonna be different. You can get smokiness in here, heat. I highly recommend this, but all of this, I mean, one bite after the next, after the next, this broth, super rich. Add it with the fresh corn, a little bit of heat, whatever you got, the acid from the cabbage. Um, there's nothing wrong about this <laughs> at all. We'll lead you out with the glamour shot of our finished dish. Sincerely, thanks for watching. And Sophia, why don't you take us out? So, today, hold on, let me get in the camera. So, today, um, we cut this ramen noodle. And I didn't try it yet, but I'm gonna try it in a little bit. After my dad gets done cooking it, the person who made this. Bye.